anything that is not supported by soil or rock either floats, flies, or falls down. Everything that you see around you is supported by soil or rock, or the combination of the two, and geotechnical engineers are responsible for that. My name is Clemens, I hold a master's degree in civil geotechnical engineering, and welcome to Geotechs with Clemens. Geotechnical engineering is a science that explains the mechanics of rock and soil and its application to the development of humankind. It includes, but without being limited to the analysis, design, and construction of foundations, slopes, retaining structures, embankments, roadways, tunnels, levers, wharfs, landfills, and other systems which are made of or supported by soil and rock. One of the main purposes of geotechnics is to make the structure safe. Without proper principles to follow when constructing structures such as mines, buildings, dams, dikes, and a host of other sites, if the principles of geotechnical engineering are not applied, structures will fail and crumble, foundations might shift, and the earth structures won't provide the necessary stability to stand the test of time. A few good examples to point out will be the infamous Leaning Tower of Pisa the Transcona Grain Elevator, and a more catastrophic failure of the Nikko Highway in Singapore, which took the lives of four people who were working at the construction site. The fundamental knowledge that each and every geotechnical engineer possess is the understanding of the mechanical behavior of soil and rock under the internal and external loads and their interaction with the structure. This knowledge is essential when designing and constructing subsurface structures. Geotechnical engineers possess various other important hard and soft skills. Once upon a time, a professor of mine once said, Geotechnical engineering is blind engineering. New geological hazards and unexpected ground changes might occur due to sudden rains or the rise in the water table levels. Geotechnical engineers have to adjust the specific recommendations or change the whole plan. Geotechnical engineers rely on computers and specialized softwares for soil analysis, ground simulations, and designs. For example, geotechnical engineers use sophisticated computer simulation programs to predict ground movement during and after construction. This is very helpful in designing cost-effective and sustainable subsurface structures and in selecting the best slope stability methods. In conclusion, we cannot understand the importance and the influence of geotechnical engineers in the built environment and the priceless value they provide to the society to make our day-to-day -day lives comfortable and build sustainable infrastructure for the future generations to come.